do I create today? today? I'm a sculptor, so I create three-dimensional objects using Lego, or to be quite specific, it's really about recreating. I would always be fascinated by things that I saw growing up, cartoons and films, and it was always my desire to want to like recreate them in drawing. And in that process of recreating them, I would then you know, tailor it to my own whims and develop something that I could say was mine. I am Head of Visual Arts here at Langstaff Secondary School. The most creative part of my job, I think, is just working with people as you learn interests or favorite colors or hobbies that students have. From there, I create a new unit. I try to always emphasize in my classes the importance of understanding and recognizing your own unique style and talents. We look at 20th century artists, there are no two artists that had the same style. Even though we all work with the same materials, none of our artworks are supposed to look the same because we don't look the same. Well, my family is from Ghana and you know these particularly three kingdoms, the Kingdom of Mali, the Kingdom of Ghana and the Kingdom of Songhai that were instrumental in the development of like the global economy and not many people know that. So exploring this kind of unknown part of history, that's where ultimately my joy exists. The pet peeve is dropping Lego. You're just right about to, you know, get something going, click something in, moment of epiphany, and then you drop it. It's an ongoing process creating a piece of artwork. So sometimes when you think you're finished, you're actually not, and there's more that can be done. And sometimes when you want to keep going at something, it, you can realize that actually it's already reached completion. So yeah, it's just really kind of understanding that art is like a evolutionary process, you know. Anybody who um, creates art knows that things don't always um, go as planned. That was one of the reasons why I, I chose York is because I knew that I could study many different things. If at any time you decided that, you know, this wasn't for you anymore, you had so many other faculties and programs to choose from. And so I had my honor specialist in visual arts. I had a major in Italian as a second language. And I also did the concurrent education program. I remember on the orientation day, when we first, all the new students first arrived at York, they encouraged us to try different disciplines. So um, I took a few of the acting for non-majors courses and writing, actually. You know, when I, when I was at York, I was writing my first novel. If you're going to York and you think I'm a painter all through high school or whatever, you, you paint and that was your thing, what they were trying to say is, okay, when you get here, it's not to say don't take any painting courses, but ensure that you take courses like you know lithography or photography or drawing or sculpture or something that is distinct from what you're used to doing and that kind of happened with me because when I went there it was just about drawing you know that's kind of what I always did I didn't at any point growing up consider myself a sculptor but once I took my first sculpture course with um, Brandon Bickard and I just you know was around other people like creating three-dimensional art it just spoke to me in a very particular way. As you can see, sculpture really kind of just took over and became the most important discipline for me. To all the young artists, honesty with yourself is actually your greatest asset when getting into the arts. Be honest with how you view your own art and what you think you're capable of doing with your art. There's just so many different kinds of professions that orbit the art world. The logos on your clothing, the advertisement and billboards that you see on the sides of bus shelters. The design industry is one of the, uh, I think is it the fifth or sixth largest industry across Canada and it's still growing. So there's so many things that you can do with your own skill set that you're developing. So it's just, it's really important to just be honest with yourself and that way you can stir some discovery about something else that you may be interested in that you didn't think you'd be interested in before.